Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm heading to the Lowry to see the Royal Shakespeare's Company's Julius Caesar. Uh, it's a play that I've never seen before so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going with my brother today. We are sat in the stalls, we're on row Q, seats 30 and 31. So I think that's the end of a row, so like an aisle seat. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the show. Obviously, if they have any merch, I'll show you, but I'm pretty sure they won't have any merch for the show. Um, show you my view from our seat, hopefully fill the curtain call for you, and obviously when we get home, I'll review the show and show you the programme. So I hope you enjoy this little vlog. Just arrived at the Lowry now, we just across the water. As usual, I'm gonna walk across the bridge and head in. I'm gonna collect my program from the press desk and then probably head in and see where we're sitting and show you the view and everything. So I'll probably get back to you now once we're inside the theatre. So we've just picked up our programme from the press desk and we've got some drinks tokens as well for today. So I think the show's going to start in 20 minutes so we might as well head in and go and find our seats. So as Lawrence isn't with me today, I can get a slushy. I'm going to go for a raspberry. What are you going to go for, Daniel? Peanut mix. No. I think raspberry is nicer. Yeah, pretty... yeah, we're going to both go for raspberry. So I've just got a slushy. He's got a red one. I'm not showing you. He doesn't want to be on, but he's got the strawberry. I've got a raspberry one. So we're going to head in now. So these are our tickets for today. So we're on row Q, seat 30 and 31. And we need to go in door A. in our seats from row Q seat and on seat 31 and the view's really good from this seat I'll show you the view now it's gonna start in about five minutes so I'll get back to you now in the interval there we go so this is our view from seat 31 row Q so it's quite a good view there. hi so 
so it is now the interval and yeah it's interesting my brother has a lot to say on it but he doesn't want to be on camera but yeah it's interesting i think it's kept sort of very much to this to the original script um they've made it slightly more modern so yeah i'm i'm enjoying it i'm looking forward to see what happens in the second half because all the good stuff sort of happened in the first half so i'm interested to see what happens in the car because i don't really know the, the play very well so i'm interested to see what happens in the second half so with our uh, drinks vouchers we just got a diet coke each you could have got a beer wine or a cider but we just went for a diet coke and i'm just having a quick look through the program just to read a bit more on it i've not had a proper look at this yet yeah, looking forward to seeing what happens in the second half. So the show has now finished and it was good the second half i didn't enjoy as much as the first half some bits i wasn't quite sure what was going on um but it was a good show i enjoyed the set i thought the set was quite good and yeah i'll tell you more about it once i get home hi so i'm now back from the show and thought i'd tell you a little bit about it so i was kind of gifted my tickets to julia caesar by the lowry for their press night uh, for this show I was sat in the stalls, I was on row Q and I was sat on seat 31 and the view from that seat was excellent, I would definitely sit there again. I thought I had a really good view of the stage. Um, there wasn't any merch for this show other than the programme which I do have here. Um, I was given mine free as I was there at the press uh, but you could purchase these for £6. So this production forms part of the Royal Shakespeare's Company's Power Shifts season. Uh, this is a season which includes reimaginings of six plays um, which explore shifting lines of power. Um, so Shakespeare was sort of fascinated by power, like who has it, how it might corrupt us, how do we use it for good, for change, for peace? Um, and Julius Caesar definitely shows um, it's all about power struggles. So uh, it's a good one for this power season. So if you don't know much about the play Julius Caesar, it's a historical play and it was first performed in 1599. So Julius Caesar returning from the war against Pompeii uh, after he's been triumphant in the war uh, the, rep the Republic want to bestow on him um, some new honours uh, this causes concern against some of the senators who feel um, that he is gaining too much power um, and that too much power is had now by one person. Cassius, who is a politician, uh, decides to plot a conspiracy to murder Caesar. Um, she resents how Caesar has become like a godlike figure in society and is jealous of Caesar's rise to power. So Cassius enlists the support of Brutus. Uh, now Brutus is uh, a friend of Caesar 
and is an honourable person, uh, but is persuaded that Caesar's death is necessary for the greater good of Rome. However, Brutus does reject Cassius's proposal um, that Mark Antony, who is Caesar's close friend, should also be uh, killed. So Brutus, Cassius and the co-conspirators assassinate Caesar by stabbing him to death at the Senate House on the Ides of March. At Caesar's funeral, Brutus explains to the people uh, the, the conspirator's motive uh, for the assassination. However, Mark Antony also speaks at the funeral and he is able to turn the people against the conspirators um, and which leads to the conspirators having to flee Rome. So Mark Antony and Caesar's nephew Octavius um, take command of Rome and then lead an army against the conspirators which results in a civil war. Brutus and, and Cassius end up losing the war and then kill themselves leaving Mark Antony to rule Rome. So that is the plot of the play. So this version of uh, Julius Caesar is quite stylized. It's been modernized. Um, some of the main roles are now played by women. So Brutus is now a woman, uh, Cassius is a woman, and Octavius is now a woman, um, which was fine, except for some parts they still refer to him as men when he, they said um, honorable man, which is a little bit confusing. I don't know why they didn't just change that to honorable woman if they were if they were receiving them as women. Uh, I think it's because it's supposed to be like a famous speech, um, so maybe they didn't want to change it, but it just didn't make sense for them to be called an honorable man. I don't know. Um, so the costumes in this, I wasn't that impressed with, to be honest. They didn't really help distinguish the characters. Um, it didn't help with like characters that had now been changed to women. Their clothes weren't very feminine-like. Um, and yeah, it just didn't help really distinguish who the characters were or what their roles were. They were all very similar. Um, and yeah, I just didn't feel like the costumes did very much for the play. One thing that I also found a bit weird, there was no weapons in the play. So when they killed Julius Caesar, there was no daggers. Um, they basically had ink on their hands, like black ink, and they sort of like patted him, tapped him, as, as to show that they're stabbing, and they got like ink hands on it. Um, I'm not quite sure why they chose to use sort of black ink rather than red blood. Um, obviously, on a darkened stage, black doesn't stand out as much as as red would. Um, so I'm not quite sure why they chose the black. Um, but it, it probably went with sort of the look that we're going for. It's quite a dark, drab look. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm not quite sure why they use the black ink for that. Also, with them not having weapons, um, the part where they, where Brutus kills himself, he sort of just runs on to his aide's hand because um, he's holding a knife. It just didn't, it didn't seem as dramatic as it would have if they were holding weapons. Uh, I didn't think. So the actors in this were all excellent. Definitely can't fault the actors. Um, all the text, the Shakespearean text, was spoken really clearly. It was really easy to uh, understand and follow. They all gave excellent performances. Stand out for me, I think, was uh, Annabelle Baldwin as Cassius and also Mark Antony, who was played by William Robinson. I thought they both gave really strong performances and I enjoyed how they portrayed their characters. So the set, um, I actually quite liked the set. It was quite simple. Um, when you first walked in, there was a couple of chairs on the side and there was what looked like a giant cube in the middle. Uh, this was rotated during the show um, to reveal sort of different rooms. Um, again, the rooms were all very simple. 
but sort of worked for the way the production is stylized. Um, and I, I quite enjoyed it. Um, however, like it, it, it didn't move on its own. It did have, you did see the stage hands come on to move it. It might have been nicer if maybe they could have got it to just spin on its own, but it was probably too costly. Um, but yeah, I didn't mind the set. I thought it was okay. Lighting, I thought was really good. I enjoyed the lighting for the show. And the music also was quite good. They did have a band when they, when the play first started. Um, based, the, the band, I think it was four people, um, stood at the top of the giant cube, uh, dressed in black, and you could see them. Um, but yeah, the music was quite good, uh, but quite haunting at times. And I thought it worked well for the production. Okay, so I'll now just go through the programme so I can show you the cast. And yeah, just show you what's in here. Okay, so this is the programme. Obviously at the top, it's got the Royal Shakespeare Company's logo. Julius Caesar. And then it says it's on at the Lowry from the 20th of June till the 24th of June. So inside you've got a couple of adverts for upcoming shows. So we've got one for the Titanic, one for Romeo and Juliet, one for the Life of Pi, uh, one for Great Women That Changed the World, and one for Message in a Bottle. So these are all good shows that are coming to Larry soon. We've got a little welcome here from the Royal Shakespeare Company. It says welcome to Julius Caesar and to the to the Salford Lowry Theatre. Got another little article here. Nowhere is safe. Uh, Professor Adrian Poole on how Shakespeare's language ripples with the complexities of character in Julius Caesar, and points to a world where everyone feels the consequences of a leader's rise and fall. You then have this article: Transforming Reality. It says director Atri Banerjee. I'm really struggled to pronounce the name. Sorry, Banerjee on the process of con on the process of collaboration in the rehearsal room, and the questions we ask of ourselves when faced with a catastrophic future. That article here. I have to say this is a good program. There's actually lots of information in this. It is a really good program for six pounds. Um, then I've got another article here, the Community Chorus. Um, it says, find out more about our Community Chorus. Groups of local leaders and campaigners who will join the professional cast both here and on tour. Then you've got some production shots here. I always like it when they have um, production shots in in the program. Here you've got your cast list. Uh, the community chorus. Your musicians and your creatives. got your production credits there and then in the center it's sort of your synopsis of the play and then you've got your cast biographies I'm just going to go through like the main characters because it's quite a big cast um, so playing Cassius is Annabelle Baldwin like I said I thought they gave an amazing performance really enjoyed the portrayal of Cassius Nigel Barrett played Julius Caesar uh, he was very good had Jamal Ajala as Lucius Mercedes Azad as Marullus slash Artemidorus Matthew Bulgo as Casca 
Ella Darcy's as Octavius Caesar. Joshua Dunn as Sin of the Poet, Tillis Lena and the Carpenter. Kate Erich as Casus Lingaris uh, and the Cobbler. Nima Finley as Soothsayer. Gina Isaac as Desus Brutus. Robert Jackson as Flavius and Sinna the Conspirator. Konkanji as Metellus, Simba and Lepidus. Nadia Kempsafi as Portia, Portia. Jimena Le, Legaviel as, as Carpornia plus, and Pindarus. Pedro Lendro as Trebonus. Matt Ray Brown as Sicero. Uh, William Robertson as Mark Antony. And Felissa Texera as Brutus. And again, she was she was an excellent as well. Then you've just got your creative team here. Got thank yous. And then you've got some more um, adverts. This one's for Macbeth. Advert for the Pier 8 restaurant and just more, a few more adverts and that is the program. So yeah, overall I think I would give the show three stars. I enjoyed it but it's probably not my favourite but yeah, I'd definitely give it three stars. Uh, like I said, it is on at the Lowry from the 20th of June till the 24th of June so I'll link down below where you can get tickets for those shows I'll also probably link below the Royal Shake Company's Shakespeare's Company website which will probably list all the venues that this show is touring to I'm not sure actually if this is the last venue on its tour I'm not sure but I'll still link it below in case you want to find out some more information about the show um, I think I will be doing a written review for this, I'm not sure. If I do, I will link it down below to my blog where you can read the full written review. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog and review of Julius Caesar. So if you do enjoy vlog re reviews, uh, like I said, I do lots of those on my channel. So if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll be notified when the next uh, one goes up. I'm actually at a, another press night tomorrow. I'm at the press night for Julie the Musical at the Hope Mill Theatre. So that will be going up very soon. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.